I'd like to thank the staff at NACTA and the selection committee for choosing me uh, for this humbling and prestigious award. I'd especially like to thank Jason Galaska, President Bryn Stevens, uh, and my fellow officers and board members on the D2ADA board. Uh, being part of this group over the last year especially has been energizing and inspiring as we've all navigated 2021-2022. Uh, uh, so really grateful to be in their company. As I reflected on this and, and told our team and, and wrote uh, a few weeks after receiving this honor initially, um, this is a, a team effort that creates a team award. And I humbly accept this honor on behalf of the entire Parkside community, uh, Chancellor Debbie Ford and her cabinet, uh, all of our faculty and staff, and certainly our team with Parkside Athletics, our coaches, and our staff have gone above and beyond as they always do over the course of this past year and certainly reflect with appreciation on what they did uh, to lead to me receiving this recognition. As I think about this year, it's been a year of uh, resiliency and perseverance. It's a year where there were lots of highlights for Parkside Athletics, a lot of things that we celebrated, a lot of progress that we made, but that was really the tip of the iceberg to a year that was defined by much more. Uh, challenge, um, opportunities to be resilient, um, times where we may have questioned ourselves, where we lost control due to the uncertainties that we all dealt with. So this was a year, uh, transparently, where I didn't always feel like I was doing a great job. And I think that was probably true for all of us, um, that we were all doing our best, but it didn't always feel that way. So uh, to receive this honor, I think in this year especially, um, and thinking back on the great accomplishments that we had here at Parkside, but also the challenges and the obstacles that we over overcame, um, I think is a little bit more special. So again, uh, on behalf of our team here at Parkside, I'm honored um, and humbled to be recognized as a Division II Athletic Director of the Year and appreciative of this award.